Hey guys, Alicia from Love Letter Generation. I'm on here today to um, show you how I do my altered bottle cap. Now, originally when I first did my um, bottle cap, I didn't have um, the correct sort of um, resources, I guess if that's what you want to call them. Um, I only had PVA glue. I had to fussy cut my circles out. So what I'm going to do today, using these sort of lilac colored bottle caps, I'm going to show you a updated version of now how I would create a bottle cap um, because I now have a circle hole punch, which finally arrived from AliExpress. And so that will make things a lot easier than, you know, me having to fussy cut circles out. I also now have um, my bigger sort of circle domes which I can pop on top instead of using glue like I did originally. Because I noticed with using um, PVA glue, um, after a while it sort of started to lift. So in the long run, that's, that's not really you know, um, an effective project, if that's, yeah, I don't know if I'm using the right word. But anyway, I haven't used this whole punch yet. I've just received it, so it's brand new. I'm not too sure even if it's the right sizing, but, um, but we'll find out. So I've just got some um, Maggie Holmes paper here, like I found in my scraps, and I thought maybe I could try and hole punch out some of these butterflies to use as the image inside my um, bottle cap. So I'm not too sure how I'm sort of going to know whereabouts. Maybe I might be able to see it through this way. Um, let's try there. And it comes out obviously in the bottom there which is handy you can make lots of confetti so there's our first piece and that should fit look at that that fits perfectly within my bottle cap so let's do another one um Because while we're here, we may as well make, you know, a few rather than just do the one. Just to give you, you know, a good example. So there's another butterfly piece there. So this is actually a really good hole punch that I received from AliExpress. It's working really well by the looks of it. I can get this in. Um, okay, so like I said, originally I used... Um, this sort of craft glue it's just like a hobby glue you know it's PVA formula it comes out white but it dries clear but using that like I said it started to lift so don't don't want that um, you know happening happening again so what I'm going to do with these ones is I'm going to get some double-sided tape and I'm going to stick that down that way. Pop the double-sided tape there on the back of that image. And then if I can get the double-sided tape off bear with me for a sec guys you know what my fingers are like I have terrible fingers for taking adhesive and things off so I'm going to place that 
there in the middle of the bottle cap. Press it down. Okay. So it's a matter of, I guess, you know, trying things out. Like if one way doesn't work, go again and, and, and try something different. Like I said, my first one, no, they didn't work out the best that they could have. And so we're going to try this way and see if this is better. And I'm sure it's a lot more easier. But the first way I did it was, you know, such a process. Um, it was more time consuming. And this way is probably the most more like effective and efficient way, I guess, having these domes. And then you can just place them in the middle there. Like, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? And these sort of have um, like a glitter sort of, um, a bit of sort of gold glitter through them, these adhesive domes. So I think I'm going to get more of those. They're, they're quite handy. I didn't get a whole lot of them in the pack. But they work really well and they're not going to, um, to come apart. So there we go. Two bottle caps. Now, next... I ended up making um, some little tassels to hang on to my previous um, bottle caps. So I just found some like pretty sort of lilac trim. And let's see how much room I want. Maybe about there. That one, that one's quite chunky, so I'm not too sure whether or not I want to use that piece or not. Um, let's just see how we go. Now I just found these trims like at my sort of local craft shop. Um, and I just went with whatever colours. See, it's sort of like a variety of your sort of lilac um, sort of mauve colours. And then I've also got some of this, um, it's kind of like, I think it's called embroidery. Um, yeah, for when you're doing embroidery, it's, it's like the sort of trim for embroidery. And I use that to, um, to wrap around and keep my tassels together find it works really well so I just went with sort of a pink color so I just fold my tassel bits over and then we can trim them afterwards if we need to, to see you know how it looks Okay. All right, so let me just find a key. What we need is like some sort of a um, ring, like a jump ring. Um, do I have one? That is the question. using these little um, kind of keyring sort of type things and when I originally did it I only did these two pieces because otherwise it would have been too chunky so I somehow managed to 
pull these through here. Because otherwise it makes it really hard to, um, like when you're working with little things, it can get quite fiddly. So I just pull that through there and then it's already on there. And then when I do it, I, all I have to do, so yeah, we're scrapping this bit because I'm not doing a big enough charm to use this thicker piece. So this piece is just enough. So now that it's on the charm like that, I hold it sort of tight. And... Hold that down with my finger and I start to wrap around just underneath where the charm is there. I don't know if you guys can see that well enough. This is basically how I made the tassel part of my key ring, which nobody saw. So, um, cause I ended up sending them all off in the Holy Swappers group one. And I didn't make a spare one for myself. So um, so then all we need to do is just tie that off once we've gone around it a few times. I probably went around it 10 times, to be honest. Now I'm going to struggle with my fingers to tie this up. Because it's always the way. And whenever I'm on camera, it's like I can't perform. <laughs> My fingers don't want to work. All right. So. I'm pretty sure I got that then. Yep. I pull tight. Do another one. Okay, so then we have sort of like our, our tassel part there. Which I've tied on, as you can see there, underneath that little um, sort of jump ring bit there. So I'm just going to cut that excess string off. Um, the tassel there because we don't really need that on there because it would kind of look a bit odd just leave a little bit there just in case that should work it should be all right like that so there's our tassel there's our altered bottle caps so then I'm going to go and drill, drill a little hole just with like a little drill that you, you know, um, you may have in your tool shed or garage, um, drill a fine hole in the top bit there. And then once it's drilled, you need like a big giant, um, like metal file to sand it down a little bit. So it's not so sharp on the back now my drill is in my garage and I can't really um, film in there unfortunately so I'm going to have to go drill this um, off camera kind of like my sewing it's kind of an awkward position um, you know it's dirty it's dusty in there so um, bear with me guys and I'll be back okay so I'm in the garage and I'm putting the um, bottle caps into the vise tightly and then we're using just this drill here and you're using like this sort of small, it's like a thin piece here, not a big, um, big chunky drill bit. So my husband's just going to drill the tops for me.
So it just went through a couple of times and then that creates our little two holes. So then I'll be able to attach um, our keychains onto. Then we've got our um, file. So we're just sanding down the back bit that's um, sharp to make it a bit smooth so you don't cut yourself. Okay, so now that we have our holes in our bottle caps, we can then attach um, one of these like little jump rings and I just pop that with my fingers. I'm able to pull that apart as you guys can see there and attach that onto the key ring. So it's on like that. And then I attach that to the bottom of the keychain piece. Push together. I did buy some um, pliers, which you could use to um, keep it together. But I find my fingers work just as well when when pushing things together it's sort of one of the things that I can do with my fingers <laughs> so just pinch it together sorry I know it's hard to see because I do have um, like I said they're really tiny tiny pieces involved so that should be all right just like that so then we've got that hanging to our, our keychain charm whatever you want to call it and then i just need a couple more um little jump rings and i'll probably attach these as well um, to it to give it a little something So I'll get a couple more jump rings. Some I purchased from AliExpress and other ones I purchased from a craft shop um, called Spotlight here in Australia. Now I might even be able to pop them on the one actually. Let's just have a look. Separate it. There's one, and then this little cute bow one. Now, I got these also from AliExpress. I can link all of these little um, bits and pieces, like the charms and the bottle caps. I can link them down below for those who would be wanting, you know, to... So, now, where do I want to attach this? I might attach it to this side. No, so I want to touch it over here. Pop that through. And we just lost the charm. Her back on pinch together like that and there we have our altered bottle cap charm so if you wanted to um, trim the bottom of this you can um, these can make, you know, a great little um, 
dangly tassel fur on your planner um, to add on to an album, a tag flip, um, flip book. You can basically incorporate this into any sort of um, paper craft item or stationary sort of item if you like. So there we have it guys. There's our altered bottle cap charm. Um, now Jelly Bean Junction, um, she's going to be doing a reveal video for the altered bottle caps that I did in my first Holy Swappers um, in the group one because as you guys know you didn't see my my charm that I made and my altered bottle cap I should say and um, also Kayla as well because hers didn't arrive in time so the lovely um, Jelly Bean Junction is going to be um, doing a reveal vid video for us as well so you guys will be able to see what um, Kayla and I made in our group swap so yeah I'll link her um, her channel down below as well so thanks for watching guys leave me a comment subscribe hit the like button and I hope you all have a wonderful day and thanks for watching bye